E aí, gente, meu nome é Natasha Grecov, esse aqui é o meu canal. Gente, hoje eu trouxe pra vocês mais um vlog envolvendo dança, é claro, né? Não podia faltar meus vlogs de dança. E bom, dessa vez, nesse vlog, não vou ser eu que vai estar tá dançando. Quem vai dançar é o pessoal do Lord of the Dance, que eles vieram pro Brasil. E assim, gente, é uma companhia de sapateado irlandês, de dança irlandesa, que faz shows pelo mundo inteiro. Eles têm um turnê pelo mundo inteiro. E agora, hoje, dia 5 de abril, eles vieram pro Brasil e vai ter show aqui em São Paulo e também no Rio de Janeiro e sério gente, eles já vieram acho que umas outras duas vezes e eu não consegui ir e assim, eu danço dança irlandesa desde que eu tinha 10 anos, eu acho. Sou completamente apaixonada. Então já fazem 7 anos que eu faço apaixonada irlandês. E assim, eles são uma puta inspiração pra mim, sério. Então eu tô super animada pra assistir o show deles. Tô indo agora lá pra São Paulo. Vai ser... Não lembro o nome do ginásio. Depois eu falo pra vocês tudo certinho. Mas enfim, gente, deixa eu também mostrar o meu look pra vocês. Porque esse look eu não vou postar no Insta, vou mostrar pra vocês só aqui no vídeo. E olha só, eu estou com um macaquinho jeans, jeans de militar, né, com estampa militar. Eu não sei se vocês conseguem ver nessa câmera, porque eu não sei o que eu tô gravando. Ela só tem uma... a câmera, não sei, uma tela, não sei onde eu tô gravando. Mas enfim, eu tô com esse macaquinho, que ele é militar. Uma blusinha branca de gola alta, né, porque e ela... É bem quentinha, sabe? Ela tem um tecido mais grosso, então se fizer frio, tudo certo. Estou com uma mochilinha, que acho que vocês não vão conseguir ver, mas eu sempre tô com essa mochila. Vocês sempre me veem com ela lá no Insta. Estou com um sapato de salto, é uma botinha branca, que eu achei que ficou super estilosinho, sabe? Deixou um pouco mais fino esse look. E eu tô levando um corta-vento branco aqui, porque se fizer frio, né? Estou garantida. Enfim, gente, vou parar de enrolar, vou agora lá com meu pai pra gente poder pegar a estrada e assistir o show. E é isso, bora lá ver o Lord of the Dance. Gente, acabamos de chegar aqui no ginásio do Ibirapuera, onde vai ser o show. E bom, deixa eu contar pra vocês, agora eu tô indo entrevistar o pessoal do Lord of the Dance, os dançarinos. Eu consegui uma entrevista com eles, faz tipo duas semanas que eu tô trocando e-mail com o gerente, o manager deles. E finalmente eu consegui essa entrevista. E gente, vai ser super legal porque vocês sabem, né, eu faço dança irlandesa, então tipo... Tá no meu mundo da dança, é uma coisa que me interessa demais, eu tô super ansiosa, nervosa. Mas é isso, bora lá. I saw that you guys are in tour all around the world, and I want to know what it's been like seeing you in so many countries, different cultures, the preparation for a live show. How do you feel? Um, yeah, that's been the best part of, of traveling with Lord of the Dance and, and being a professional dancer. We've performed in over 70 countries. Um, so to go and experience that many cultures, like you said, um, and see, yeah, different foods, different yeah. people, different lifestyle, um, but also see how different audiences react to our show. Um, luckily it's always very good, yeah. um, but some people just have a different, you know, they, they go crazy, some people different reaction, okay. different reaction, a little more reserved, but all in all it's really good and uh, great to meet new people. So did you taste the Brazilian food? Did you thought it's different? Yeah, we. What do you like? Yeah, it, um, well, I've tried a little. Uh, lots of juice bars, ah. acai bowls. Is that what you yes, call them? Yes, uh, yes. I've been having lots of those, um, which is like nice it? and healthy. Yeah, yeah, really good. We don't have many of that back home. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, lots of that. We spent some some time on the beach in Rio, which was oh, beautiful. Uh, so really, beautiful. really nice. Uh, so when I was younger, I used to watch the Lord of Dance shows in DVD and in the television, and I tried to copy you guys. Uh, some dance moves. Uh, it was a complete inspiration for me in the Irish world dance. Okay. And so I would like to know about what is your inspiration in the role of dance? Yeah, um, our inspiration was so uh, the creator of our show, Michael Flatley, yeah. I'm sure you know. Um, when I was a young boy dancing, um, Lord of the Dance became, became popular as well. So for a young boy dancing to see um, a world renowned show like Lord of the Dance was, it gave me something to aim for. 
uh, you know, like a, a, a dream. Yeah, a yeah. So, um, yeah, so that was my inspiration. I guess Michael Flatley was my inspiration. Um, and now, you know, to, to get to join the show and now to live uh, live the dream yeah. um, is, is something amazing. So, yeah, he's, he inspired me a lot. Um, I do not tell you, but I also do dan Irish dance. All oh, right, great, yeah. okay. And do you dance another type of dance like tap? A little. When I was younger, a little, a yeah. um, little bit of tap um, and contemporary, but mainly Irish dancing, dance, as you know, yeah. is difficult. So yeah. um, I did it for a little while, and then just decided to focus on Irish dance because it was it's taking so cool. all my time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you require a discipline, okay. right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So as I said, when I was younger, I tried to copy you guys. So I would like to know if you can teach me some moves. Yeah, of course, no problem. Okay. Agora ele vai fazer alguns passos irlandeses, mas como eu disse, eu já faço dança irlandesa. All right, so, so hop on the back foot, so yeah, travel, so hop, one, two, hop, back, step, kick, beautiful, you know this already, yeah, 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 yeah look, good, uh, okay, I'll teach you something, the hardest step for me, the front kick, and the softest shoes, yeah, the bird, yeah, yes, you know loads then, okay, um, also the, So it starts with a jump, like the dum. So you're on left so, yeah, yeah. That's it. So this is a drum. That's it. So you're gonna go continuous. Oh, yeah, like a drum. That's it. Yeah, like that. yeah. Yeah, good. That's right. Rhythm. Let's go. So diddle dum, diddle dum, diddle dum. So that's good. So three in a row. Good, and then you do, and then you do down trouble, hop toe, and you just go hop, and then repeat down trouble and toe, hop, up one, two, and uh, like a cut. cut. Yeah, okay. So this is the very end of when we're all in a line. Uh, after this piece, we do a step, stamp, hop, stamp, hop, stamp, trouble, and a back stamp, trouble, and a then this bit, 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 Time with the drums. Two, three. So right foot first. Two, three, four. Little and dumb. Little and dumb. Little and treble and toe. Hop and treble and toe. Hop. Cut. One, two. And that's it. Sixteen. Sixteen. And how long have you danced? Okay. You dance with the dance group. Yes, yes, yes. I'm from Surakarta. It's a city from the. That's two hours from here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, you look really good. But I also did a competition in Berlin. Oh, yeah. Because of, no? In Berlin? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I also competed there. Great. You traveled a lot. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay. Well, perfect. Thank you so much. No problem. Break nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>